So I want to talk about this article, and there seems to be a lot of confusion here, but it's exciting nevertheless. So this is one of those situations where if you just read the headline, it could be confusing. You have to click into the article to get the real story. This is from World of Real. It says, Sam Raimi in contention to direct MCU's Spider-Man 4. So it says here, the MCU Spider-Man 4, the follow-up to 2021's mega successful No Way Home, is supposed to begin production in the fall, in uh, this fall in late September. That's this year coming up. However, Sony still doesn't have a director attached to this one, which is true. John Watts, who helmed the first three Spiders, Spideys, has graduated making films with George Clooney and Brad Pitt, Wolves and Wolves, and he's not coming back. Well, he was supposed to do Fantastic Four as well, and that got canceled. For months, Justin Lin was one of the names to be in contention. Justin Lin is the guy who did most of the Fast and Furious movies, starting with three. He didn't do all of them, but he did a lot of the mo more liked ones, like Fast Five, Furious Six, Fast Seven, the ones that people genuinely like. He did most of those. No, he didn't do Fast 7. I'm sorry. He did 5 and 6 and 4. Yeah, 7 was... Um, 7 was... Uh, James Wan. James Wan was 7. So, uh, another rumor is Drew Goddard from Cabin in the Woods. But the story with Sam Raimi is... I think a lot of people, including me, thought that when they said he's going to direct Spider-Man 4... That it's going to be the sequel to the the long-awaited sequel to the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. The ones from the 2000s. What I don't understand to this day. And if you've been subscribed to my channel you know, for a while. And you've heard me talk about these Spider-Man movies. Especially during the build-up to No Way Home and After. I do not understand. I cannot fathom why Sony didn't just go ahead and make sequels to both the Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. People loved No Way Home. They loved the cameos. People loved the fact that, you know, the characters that they grew up with came back. Even those who didn't like the Amazing Spider-Man movies wanted to see more from Garfield, who was a treat. He was a pleasure in No Way Home. Instead, they go and make stuff like Madam Web, and, and Morbius. Well, Morbius may have been already done before then, but they go and they make garbage instead of making what people want. It doesn't make sense to me. Why not continue the story? I mean, look at this thumbnail. This is not the Spider-Man and Mary Jane from the MCU or MJ. That's not them. This is the Sam Raimi ones. So I don't understand why if people were so on board... They were so excited. They wanted to see more adventures with the other two Spider-Men. And instead, they didn't do it. Sony's a weird company. Maybe Marvel stopped them from doing it. I don't know. I feel like they could have worked together and done something wonderful. But if Sam Raimi's going to direct the next Spider-Man 4, I'm okay with it because he did such a great job with the first two. Now, he also directed Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And that movie was good, although disappointing, based on what they could have done. I still think it's a decent film, even though I haven't watched it since it first came out. So maybe it's not that decent, but I enjoyed it when I saw it the first time. It's not one of those, like, I must go back and watch ASAP, like Infinity War and Endgame War. I mean, I still go back from time to time and watch those two, and even the first Avengers from 2012. Those are just timeless movies. And so is Spider-Man 1 and 2. Spider-Man 3, not so much, but if MCU and Sony, if Disney and Sony want to let Sam Raimi cook and let the man produce something of quality, let him do it. Let him do it. I am okay with that. It's just I wish they would do the other Spider-Man 4 with the other two Spider-Men because I think there was time to make a lot of money and make a couple of really fun movies for the fans that people have waited years. People want to know what happened to Peter and Mary Jane in the Sam Raimi universe. Does he have a daughter with her? You know, what's the story there? We want to see that. And they're not giving it to us. But at least the MCU Spider-Man will continue. And he's supposed to be, according to leaks and rumors, he's supposed to be a very important part of the Kang storyline, Kang Dynasty, and Secret Wars. He's supposed to be a very important part of those two stories. The big finale films 
you know, for lack of a better term, for uh, phase six of the MCU and the multiverse saga. So what do you think about Sam Raimi coming back? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon.